do you hate Roblox's new cursor? Then you're in luck because in this video, I show you how to change Roblox's cursor. But not just change Roblox's cursor to the old one or to download someone else's Roblox cursor. In this video, I am showing you how to make your own custom Roblox cursor. That is right. That is right. You can change it to whatever you want. This is your own custom Roblox cursor. Just make sure to like and subscribe and let's get straight into the video. Basically, all you do is follow these steps closely. You see Roblox player right here. Go ahead and go to that and go to File, Open File Location. And yeah, this is where it's located. And all this, all this, uh, other people have done tutorials on, but I've seen nobody do a tutorial and actually how to make your own Roblox cursor and upload it. I've seen people like make Roblox cursors and then um, tell people how to download them, but nobody, no, nobody, I haven't seen anyone upload how to actually make your own. So that's why I'm doing this for y'all. I'm just gonna help you guys out. And you can make your own. You don't have to look at the horrible Roblox cursor that is there right now. Uh, but yeah, just go to content, go to textures, and yeah, this is where everybody else is at. They say ignore arrow cursor, decal, drag. Uh, do arrow cursor and arrow cursor far. Then you just copy them. Go to cursors. Go up to cursors. And then go to keyboard mouse. And then you just paste them here. There you go. See, and now, if I join a game right now, I'll have the old Roblox cursor once again. But this is not on how to get the old Roblox cursor. This is how to make your own custom cursor. So it's pretty easy. First of all, in case you want to go back to the old Roblox cursor or want to redo how you did it, I'd, I'd um, copy and, and put it on the desktop right here. I'd copy the um, cursor. And then you just go ahead and right click on the cursor, do open with, then, then do a paint thing that has any like, do any kind of Photoshop program. Or, or paint program like I'm going to choose paint on it I think that's the best one because it's free and it has everything you need but all you have to do is just click on it and just go to that and make sure it has all you need pretty much is just layers which most of which most paint programs have and you also need magic wand those are like the two major things that you need for this right now but anyways I'm gonna show you how to do this so this is the Roblox cursor right now you don't want to mess up where it is right now because then it's gonna mess up how it is in the game but right here all you have to do is pretty much to make it your own custom one you just click in the middle and then just press delete with the magic wand and then should have the entire outline you can outline it you can change the outline color to whatever you want also but i'm just gonna keep it like that for now and then just look up whatever you want to put onto it or just like whatever you want to put on it i'm just gonna do light blue what i do is light blue fade so it just fades to dark blue or whatever but basically you can pretty much get like anything and just put it on it but uh yeah so just customize it now and i what I do is I just get the um, light blue fade because I think it doesn't look that bad. Here we go. This is perfect right here. And then you just go ahead and copy it and go back to paint.net and just add a new layer and then paste it and keep canvas size and just customize it. So basically, I'm just going to put like a fade on it. I'm going to go ahead and resize it so it's the same size as the mouse cursor and go ahead and drag the mouse cursor layer above the other layer and then just go ahead and, and then click out of it. And then what you want to do next, so then you can see how it will look once it's like, once this is all cropped out. And then go ahead and just merge the layers once you think it looks nice. And then just get the magic select wand and then just magic select everything that's not in the cursor. And I just press delete and then boom, this is your cursor. Then all you have to do is go to files and save it in your files. So I already have it saved, but just save it pretty much anywhere. And then after you've done all that, what you want to do is just go back into the Roblox file and then have both of the files open and then just replace, put this cursor right here, but you don't want to just drag it over here because when Roblox updates, it resets your cursor. So you just want to go ahead and just copy it and then you want to go and do paste and then boom. Then just click that and then boom. So now let's go ahead and join a game. As you can see, I'm in a game of Fully Facility right now, and look at my Roblox cursor. As you can see, it is a light blue fade to blue, I, just as I put into the file folders. And that's all you have to do, guys. And now you can go ahead and play with whatever cursor you'd like. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, and make sure to comment down below if this video was helpful or not. And turn on post notifications so you won't get notified next time I upload. And this person is about to kill me. But yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, guys. Goodbye.